I'm Nicole. And I'm Paul. And with our motley crew of numerous children from our blended family, we sail around the Mediterranean on Savvy of London, our XP55 at Sailing Yacht. On this channel, we take you with us on our adventures at sea and on land. Please tick that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and thank you for joining us on this journey. I'm gonna have to go now, I'll talk to you later, okay? Be good. I'm gonna send you a virtual hug. I love you. I love you. I love you too. It is difficult to be away from the children for such long periods of time, and we were really looking forward to having them on board in a few days. Until they're on, <laughs> and then we wish we were alone again. Only joking, kids. Hey! <laughs> you look like Dr. Tim. Yeah. Yes, we do. What's He's his name? Determined. Chuck. Chuck. Hey, Chuck. Chucky boy. Chuck. Hey, hey Chuck. Hamburu. Hey, Chuck. How old is he? Four or five years. Ah, he swims a lot, but yeah, he loves swimming. Hey, Hamburu, Chuck. Look now. Oh, the kids but would love But you know, him. when I don't take him with us, like I'm nervous, you know? Yeah. yeah. He keeps you buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's lovely. Oh. He's lovely. You're going in, Chuck? Chuck, Chuck, yeah, 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 Chuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Bye, Chuck. Bye-bye. Oh, right. Enjoy your sailing. Thanks. Same Bye. to you. We are here, as you can see this, which is uh, Ferry Gigamiorlona, and we want to go to Maritimo and Levanzo. So what we can see is every the places we want to go are all in this direction, and the wind is coming from the opposite direction. And if I flick through this over time, you'll notice it doesn't really go away much uh, for the next four or five days until about here, and then it goes light and there's nothing, so you can't sail. So our options are, I think maybe if we go over to Maritimo because it looks phenomenal, it's very mountainous and rugged, spend a night over there and perhaps some of the day and then we look at maybe heading north into these winds, today, Tuesday? Tuesday, yeah. So uh, Wednesday, so we've got these winds here and they fill in through the day. So we could head out of Maritimo and we could maybe um, head north a bit and tack into this wind but then when the wind comes round to the north like this we then cut across and then we tack up past Trapani and we tack up but it's going to be close haul sailing which means we're going to be healed at 25 degrees constantly for probably for a fair while so it's a, it's a lot of sailing. With Savvy and Shipshape ready for a lively passage to Maritimo, we lifted the hook and set sail. We're flying over to Maritimo. Just there this is, the sun. This is a beam reach, which is the best point of sail. Yeah, broad reach, perfect. Main. 
full Genoa, uh, we're sailing at 66 degrees apparent at nine and a half knots, which is beautiful sailing all day long. sailing really is just something else. We're sailing straight into the sun. There's a nice swell 15 to 18 knots of northerly wind, beam reaching, hit 10.3 knots, averaging about nine and a half, everything is good. And the sun is out, wow. The wind picked up and became really fluky the closer we came to the island. And that sunset, is one of the best we've experienced and also one of the best afternoons sailing. So it's another couple of hundred metres and then I'll uh, work out where the wind is. You see over here, look, behind us, you see the block of that water where the wind's going around the island. Actually drifting. There's yeah. no sails up anywhere, there's no engine on. We're just drifting. To have some downs. beautiful little anchorage on Meratimo that we find ourselves this evening which is running the engine a little bit while we tidy up the lines well poor tidies up the lines because obviously we don't have a generator and we need to charge but this is our beautiful rugged anchorage with no phone reception at all beautiful anchorage with uh, very little light and on a well a very remote island and the stars were just something else and then and then well I don't know how you describe this look but I would say neon disruptive yes. I'd say that this is the ADHD of the yachting world so now we can't see the stars anymore which is a little sad because we just found a comet. <laughs> anyway, the lights do look quite impressive as they were sailing along in front of us. 
but not so impressive now in a lovely quiet anchorage where we all want to stargaze. After a beautifully quiet night on our waypoint, we're up early for our daily paddleboard and exploring the rugged cliffs and caves of Maritimo. Pretty amazing, isn't it? All these rock formations built up over millennia. Savvy right out the back. <laughs> so here we are, in a little cave, and we find ourselves in a Maritimo cave. This is my paddleboard park, holding perfectly. There's a little surge in here, it's like a little tidal flow on this rock as it fills in here. Anyway. Careful of your legs. Jagged rocks. Is not what we want to hear. <laughs> well, apart from the no see -ems, but you can hear them. Ah. See it. Something swimming around in here that is splashing quite a lot. I saw it from a distance and I've come in, but I can't quite see it. I'm going to stick the GoPro under the water. Here comes NSB. This is the anchorage to the south of Malatimo. Beautiful place. Would certainly recommend it, especially when the wind's got a bit of north in it. You get some swirly breeze off the tops. Give you an interesting position of your boat, but yeah, it's uh, pretty special. So we're both starving, so. I'm going to make up some little 
pizza breads for uh, Paul and I for our breakfast slash lunch. <laughs> They're a bit crumbly, but they should taste nice with some avocado. A little bit of feta. Excuse the engine, the generator is broken, so we're having to run the engine constantly to keep charging everything. Right, there are a lot here. I've just decided to make a big platter and sprinkle it all on. Okay. And I'll These come taste up. amazing. I'll come up now to and have some. Because I'm hungry as well. Mm -hmm. I just realised. <laughs> Careful, armed and dangerous. Hungry, tired and... Premenstrual or menstrual. Hopefully we're going to bump into somewhere here and then we are off maybe to Ustika or and then down to Cephalu which is down here and then past the Aeolians again and then north up to the Bay of Naples. What fun! ship in there. In fact, you can see this little boat coming in. You get ten of them in there. I reckon we'd almost get our mast in there. What an impressive structure. Very stunning. There's an anchorage just to the south here, so we're going to try and anchor there and go in for a bit of a look around. Against the anchor as it goes into the port, holding on. The ferry here is dropping an anchor. 
and now uh, backing up on the anchor to port. Next time, join us as we explore the beautiful little village of Meritimo. Thank you for watching and please do leave us a like and a comment if you'd like. Thank you.